good to be back. I'm still continuing with the family Bible, Proverbs 3. I'm now on verse 27, and uh, I will read first the prayer at the front as I like it. I like, I like to read the prayer and the message from His Holiness Pius the Twelfth. In our ardent desire that a more widespread knowledge and love of the Holy Writ be promoted among the laity, we warmly welcome this new edition of a family Bible prepared for English-speaking Catholics. The pious reading of the sacred scriptures which the Catholic Church has ever proposed to her faithful children for their sanctification and instruction is a most fruitful source of spiritual blessings upon the home, serving as an antidote to the undermining influences that threaten all sides, sacred citadel of the Christian family in the modern world. We extend to all an earnest invitation to partake of this heavenly food and to avail themselves of this gift from God, which is an inexhaustible treasure where those who search will find what they so eagerly seek, words of truth and comfort, of strength and encouragement, of solace and peace. With the prayerful hope that the Holy Bible may have an honoured and rightful place in every home, we cordially invoke upon its readers an abundance of divine grace, celestial favour and enlightenment. From the Vatican, December the 27th, 1955, Pius PP X11-12. And the prayer before reading any part of the Holy Scripture is as follows. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy Spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who didst instruct the hearts of thy faithful people, by sending them the light of thy Holy Spirit, grant us in the same spirit to discern what is right and enjoy his comfort forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we will continue with Proverbs 3, Kindness to One's Neighbour. Do not withhold from him doing good who is able. If thou art able, do good thyself also. Say not to thy friend, Go, and come again, and tomorrow I will give to thee, when thou canst give at present. Practice not evil against thy friend, when he hath confidence in thee. Strive not against a man without cause, when he hath done thee no evil. Envy not the unjust man, and do not follow his ways, for every mocker is an abomination to the Lord, and his communication is with the simple. Want is from the Lord in the house of the wicked, but the habitations of the just shall be blessed. He shall scorn the scorners, and to the meek he will give grace. The wise shall possess glory. The promotion of fools is disgrace. The word of the Lord. Such beautiful words they used in the Bible when I was only nine that was published. And I'll be 74, <laughs> first of December. However, I love reading it. I really feel something very different 
reading those words. Nothing wrong with the Bible that I read, it's modern and people aren't, but these words, there's something beautiful about them, more thoughtful, I think. What a shame they changed them. But never mind, I've got this big Bible, it was sitting here all along, and I thought I'd, this is not the King James Version, it's a Catholic version in which all the, the Bibles did originate with the Catholic Church. But King James did a grand job, I've read that Bible, I've got a copy packed away, ready to move all my books are packed in bags, huge. Those are Tesco's bags, strong bags. I don't know when I'm moving, but I haven't heard. All right then, God bless you. I will continue with Proverbs 4 in a little while.